In this video, I'm showing you how to create an e-commerce website. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like as well. I really do appreciate it. So a huge thank you to Wix for sponsoring this video. Wix is an awesome website builder and we're creating a really cool e-com website in this video. And I put a link to Wix in the description and in the pinned comment. Now let's go and show you this full guide. Now let's go and get straight into this tutorial and as you can see I'm using Wix. Now Wix is one of my favourite website builders and I've been using it for a long time now and I really do recommend it. And once again a huge thank you to Wix for sponsoring this video. So the first thing you want to do is go into the pinned comment or the description and simply go and click on the link. So it's going to be a Wix link and you want to click it, you're going to have to go and create an account, it's really simple, you just use your email and then you can go and come and create a site. Then you want to make sure you come to the dashboard or account section. You may have to go and create a quick site or you can skip through that and come straight to the manage. And once you're here, we can then go and get properly into this tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is simply go to the top right where it says create new site. Click there and it's going to open up a new tab and it's going to take a minute to load and then it's going to go and run us through a quick intro so we understand what type of website we want to build. Now a quick note as well, before we build the website, we can always go and create our brand, our e-commerce brand as this is an online shop. To do that, you, want, you can go and use the free Wix logo maker or the business name generator as well. These two sites Wix use are really useful and I recommend for using them to go and get your brand off the ground. So you want to go and select online store like so and then it's going to take you here. Now I already recommend creating your website with the editor, there's a lot more functionality to it and the Wix ADI um, is sort of skips over some things and I really prefer this one. So I'm going to go and click edit a template and then it's going to go and give you a ton of templates. As you can see there are so many different types and they all tell you sort of what the rough idea they're for. So as you can see here we've got a home goods store, we've got a t-shirt store, you've got a beauty supply store and there are so many. You can also go and look and filter through the different sections as well, like for example electronics. Click here and then it's going to go and list all the sites and templates which are to do with electronics. I absolutely love it. Now personally, I'm going to go and do something around a clothing store, maybe a t-shirt store. And that's something that really does interest me in the future, um, making some merchandise or something like that. So let's go and start a template and you want to go and click edit. Then it's going to go and load up the template for you so we can go and begin to edit it. So we'll just take a minute to load as you can see. So let's go and give you a quick rundown of what everything does. So on the left hand side we've got our toolbar. So you can click on the add here and you can add new pages. Here we've got the menu button, click there and you can go and create new menus and pages. So if you want another page for your website you click here. Then you've got the theme manager so you can change the whole theme of the website like colours and bits like that. Background is going to be the background of the website. You can add apps which is so useful especially when running an online store uh, for an e-commerce brand. There's so much you can add within here. I'll run through a few of them in a minute. And you've got media as well so you can upload images, you've got blogging so you could run a blog within your store, you can have my store and then you've got bookings. Honestly there is so much functionality to this. But personally I'm going to go and upgrade this site as you get a lot more functionality and it's a lot more useful. So all you want to do if you want to is go and click upgrade and we can go and do this. So I've now upgraded my site and there are so many different plans to choose from so I do recommend going and checking them out. Now let's go and continue with setting up this store. So before I go and show you how to add products and a few other bits like that, I want to quickly show you how you can do things like editing the text and stuff like that. To do that, you want to go and go and select the text you'd like to edit. So as you can see, you hover over it, you get this text box saying text. Click on it once and then it goes and gives you all the options down here. Edit text, get text ideas and you can choose the animation and you've got help. So click edit text and then you can literally go and put it anything you like. So I could go and change this to tutorial tucker like so and that could literally be it. I'm going to keep it as t-shirts though. So yeah, there's tons of options guys. And uh, yeah, you can also do control Z to undo everything as well, which is useful. And you can go and change the font and font size under the text settings. And that's why I love Wix. Everything is very customizable. So now you know how to go and change text. Then let's go and add some products. So you want to come to the left hand bar and what you want to do is come down to where it says my store. Click there and then go and click get started. Then it's going to go and open up this. On the left we've got Wix stores. So we've got store manager, store pages, add store elements and learn more. So let's go and add some products. So come and click on store manager and then go and click add products. I'm going to click here and here we go. It's now bringing up this tab here where we can go and enter all the information about the product and so much more. We'll wait for this to load and as you can see it gives a ton of products which are currently already on the website. So if you want to delete any of these all you want to do is simply click on one of them like here or the three dots. 
then click here and you can go and click delete if you wanted to click delete and you can go and select them all as well so let's go and create a new product so come to the top right where it says new product click here and then you can go and either do a digital file or a physical this is one of my favorite things a lot of stuff is digital nowadays which is really cool so i'm going to go and do a physical one for now so i've clicked here and here we go so let's go into new with this so you could go and add images and videos of the product and then we can go and add the name so i'm going to go and quickly go and add an image and we'll quickly go and test this out so click on add an image and then you can go and upload your file so now i'm loading my image i'm just doing it with my profile picture as an example i'm going to click add to page and then it's going to go and give you that as with your product and you can add multiple as well and then for this i could just go and type in uh, example and you can go and then add a ribbon as well so like a new i could add new arrival or you can have anything you want as well and then for the price you could go and put i could put a pound for example and this will be in your local currency and you can also add if it's on sale as well so you could have add the discount i'm personally not going to then you can go and type up a description which i'll quickly do now so this is what i've come up for the description this is an incredible product, the quality is extremely high and it's handcrafted and I could add some information about the sizes and other information and I've really made use of all the tools Wix does have like the bold, the italics uh, and the underlining stuff so honestly you can add so much different effects with the Wix that's why I love it so much and then we can go and go down here so you can add extra information about the return policy or care instructions with washing and stuff like that you can add custom text as well you've got different product options so say if you've got sizings or colors uh, you can go and add those here by clicking add options and then for the shipping this is really useful as well so you can add the tracking inventory so if you have got say a limited amount of stock you can then go and make sure it minuses it uh, as it goes down so yeah, that's really useful if you get it in stock. You can add the SKU, which is like a product uh, stock keeping unit code, as you can see. So I could go and add like a few numbers like that. And then you can go and add the shipping weight. So this is like say 0.5. And uh, yeah, that's literally it guys. And then you can go and click save and it's gonna go and add it. You can also go and add a subscription as well, which is really cool. Uh, but I'm gonna go and click save. And then go and click save and here it is. We can now go and start selling it. So now you know how to add products. Let's go and cover the shipping. You wanna come back to the left and go and click on the main menu button. And then all you want to do is simply scroll down to see settings, click here. And then you wanna simply go and scroll until you see shipping. Then click on here and we can cover everything about all the different shipping rates. So currently this is what it currently set as. We've got United Kingdom and we've got international. Currently it's all free, but you can go and add regions separately as well. So click add region say, and I could go and cover something about add destination. So click on add destination and we could go and say do the United States like so. And then you can go and do all the 51 states or you can add other countries as well. Then you can go and choose how much shipping you'd like it to be. So click on it. Um, you could add a flat rate, the rate by the weight, the rate by price, rate by product. So you probably wanna do it by the weight because that's what you're gonna be paying for the actual shipping. So click here and then you can go and add the amount of weight uh, for the price. So I could go and say just standard. You can call it anything you want. I'm gonna quickly fill this in and then show you. So this is what I filled in for now. These need to be realistic though as you will actually have to pay it, but I've just kind of made this up just to show you guys how it works. Then you can go and do local delivery and local pickup as well. Um, so yeah, if you've got customers in your local area, that's really cool. So say I click add local pickup and you can go and add your address and uh, as you can see how long it will take. Honestly, it's so, so customizable. So let's go and click save and boom, there we go. So we've now saved region three and you can also go and delete these as well or turn them off as you can see. And we've got fulfillment services as well. So you can go and add those if you have any. So then come back to the main settings menu and let's go and cover sales tax. Now Wix do have an awesome way for handling this, but you can also have your own uh, tax accountant. So come down and find e-commerce and finance and go and click on tax. Then here we go, we'll wait for this to load. And as you can see, you can go to the top where it says automate your tax. So click here and you wanna go and click on start now. Here it says get automated tax with Avalara. Then you wanna go and make sure you agree to the terms and conditions, then go and click I agree and go and click continue. Then you need to enter all of your information and go and click create account and it's gonna go and automate it all for you. That's a major advantage of using Wix. So now of course we need to go and connect a secure payment provider so we can start accepting online payments to our website. So come down to e-commerce and finance and go and click on accept payments and here we go it's now loading and here we go guys. So as you can see you want to go and make sure you've got your country selected and then we've got all of these options here. We've got PayPal, credit cards, manual payments so there's different options as well. Um, so let's go and connect one of these. So you want to go and select one say credit cards and debit cards to so click connect. And then as you can see, there are a few restrictions. 
So make sure you check if your product falls with any of these categories and then decide if it does it or doesn't. As you can see, if it does, you will not be able to use Wix payments, but I do not. So you click continue and then it's gonna go and connect the provider to it. And then it's gonna connect it. As you can see, complete your Wix payments account setup as soon as possible so we can verify your account. For a smoother verification process, make sure your site is ready for review. And then once approved, you receive payments straight to your bank account. So now I recommend going and make sure you've got a Wix business and e-commerce plan like I already got at the start of this video, but you do need this to be able to accept online payments and so make sure you have a Wix business and e-commerce premium plan. And an awesome feature of having a Wix business and e-commerce premium plan is you get a brand domain. So you can go and get a domain that matches your retail brand or connect one you already own and online stores are custom made that look way more professional, credible and will sell more. So that's something to really consider. To do this, come back to your main settings and then you can go and click connect domain, click here, and then we can go and get a domain or connect the previous one. As you can see here, you can buy a new domain name or you can use your voucher and get it for free or you can go and connect one you already own. So I just wanna go and show you how you can customize this website a bit more. Simply go and click on these images if you want to change these to your own. Click on them and then go and click manage media and then you can go and choose which images are being selected in these three here. So you can customize it to your own images and then you can go and change the shop title and you can go and change where the link is, it takes you to as well, which I absolutely love. And you can go and change all of these. So click here and you click manage products and you can select the products which are being shown. So it'll take a minute to load as you can see and then you can select all of the images which are being shown. And if you wanna go and check out the other pages, click on this pages here, menus and pages and then you can go and run through all of these. And then once you're happy with your whole website, then all you want to do is go and make sure it works perfectly on mobile. And you can also check how it looks like on mobile as well, simply by clicking on the mobile device up here. And it's gonna specifically edit it only for the mobile device. So anything you change once it's in this mobile isn't gonna change how it looks on desktop, which is really useful as some things you may wanna look differently on desktop compared to mobile. So make sure you click publish like so and then it's gonna go and publish it. And then you can go and go to your domain, which is gonna be shown here. Before you promote it or anything like that, simply come to this domain here, maybe your custom one, and then you can go and check it out. And then that's literally it, guys. It's then go and ready to be promoted. Now I'll be showing you some quick promotional tips as well. And then you can go and promote your site to an audience and you can hopefully go and get some sales. Now I wanna go through a, quick, a few tips and a few sort of marketing tips as well. So a quick tip I wanna show you is download the Wix mobile app. You can manage your online store on the go from any device with the Wix mobile app, add products, view orders, track shipping, manage inventory, chat with shoppers, offer coupons and much more. So having the app is a must really and it's available on most app stores. So I'm gonna quickly go through a few Wix e-com tools to drive traffic and sales after launching an online store. So you can maximize your online store's SEO. You can drive traffic to your store from search engines like Google and make sure your site appears in potential shoppers search results when they're searching online. So you can go and get a personalized SEO plan with Wix SEO Wiz, answer a few questions about your site, location and keywords, then follow your step-by-step -step SEO plan. You can easily optimize your product page, titles and descriptions, meta tags, and this will tell Google that these pages are part of an online store and give them the best chance of ranking in the search engine results. You can also use SEO patterns to instantly update your page totals and descriptions across all product pages. Wix sites that complete SEO setup receive twice as more visitors and are 1.3 times more higher turnover than those which don't. Another tip is recovering abandoned carts. You can set up abandoned cart emails to go and re-engage with shoppers and encourage them to complete their purchases. Likewise, make sure your Facebook pixel is properly connected so you can remarket your store visitors and shoppers who don't complete checkout. Wix sites with an active automation like abandoned cart emails get 2.7 times more visitors and a 3.3 times higher turnover. Another tip is to reach new shoppers. Advertise your products with automated Facebook and Instagram ad campaigns and let Wix handle the rest. Wix algorithms will run tests daily, optimizing your ad non-stop to find you the right audience so you can max return on your ad spend. 40% of Swix stores got two times more sales with Facebook ads by Wix. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said before, the link is down below so you can go and get Wix. I love it so much and it's one of, one of the best places to go and build websites with. Subscribe for more, leave a like. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.